show elements are part of professional sport, but there are some fighters who turn the sport into a circus in pursuit of glory and even humiliate and mock their opponents. Active. If he chooses to use it and if he stays confident in doing that, he's gonna have to get active. The boxing world is also full of brazen fighters who try to attract attention and gain popularity through showing off. Today, we have compiled the most outstanding examples when these cocky fighters were punished and humbled for their showy behavior. Before we start, don't forget to put your likes and subscribe. In July 2017, Albert Pagara met with Ayukavi Kayumani. The veteran Kayumani dominated his young opponent for two rounds. Feeling his advantage, Kayumani began to bully his opponent as if he was a primary school pupil. Kayumani even started dancing like he was on the stage, not in the ring. The arrogant Kayumani showed that he didn't take his opponent seriously. Having humiliated Pagara enough, Kayumani switched to his coach, saying hello. He continued his monkey business until the moment when Pagara's powerful blow chopped his liver and knocked him out. The prize for clowning around. There's a left of the body. Good job by Albert. Pagra took revenge on his arrogant rival for his behavior, thus punishing the cocky dancer. For a while, Kayumani will only be able to perform a coffin dance. Coolie. At the boxing tournament, which took place in Jekaya, local undefeated fighter Marek Mazouk faced a fighter from Brazil, Leandro Silva. During the fight entrance, Mazouche behaved calmly, while the cocky guest tried to impress everybody with his monkey business. Black corner taking on Leandro, Apollo, Silva. Leandro. In the first round, Silva outclassed his opponent and with the purpose of humiliating, didn't put power behind his punches. Oh, hard discipline. Very, very tough as he gets oh, wobbled by this, that right hand. These are short shots, but they're working. Luke. Feeling the superiority in technique, Overconfident Silva proceeded playing for the audience by performing a Brazilian dance in the ring. Short, sharp, little shots. Oh. This is again. <laughs> Cocky Fighter completely won the round and with a full confidence began celebrating his victory in advance. Oh, look at the blood really flowing from that nose now. Oh, Wee, sharp yeah. right hand. Which way that traffic has gone, just look at the red. Remembering it is the land of his ancestors, Mazouk entered the second round with the raging fire in the belly. Come, both coming out in southpaw. Oh, a nice right. Mazouche with a powerful left hook forced Silva to perform the last dance and proceeded to obliteration of the cocky fighter. Oh. 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 Apollo, he smells blood, it comes flying forward as Marek. That right hook lands on the chin. And good night. The arrogant Ricardo Mayorga facing off against the humble Shane Mosley. Before the fight, Mayorga mocked and provoked Mosley in every way possible. First, he blew smoke in Shane's face. Oh, man, an athlete. Come on, man. Yeah. And at the press conference, he did a despicable act to Mosley's wife, which pissed Shane off and provoked a fight. Mosley lived with only one thought. He wanted to avenge his wife's honor and defend his dignity in the fight. In the fight, Mayorga continued to humiliate Mosley. He danced in the ring and even showed an obscene gesture. Soon Shane's patience ran out and it was time for revenge. He landed a left hook right in Mayorga's liver and punished the cocky fighter for all the hurt that Mayorga had done to Shane and his wife. This is Usman Ahmed. He apparently mixed up boxing and dancing and performed the most cocky entrance in boxing history. But still relatively raw and an experienced novice. It was obvious that he did not count his opponent at all, considering him an easy prey. Usman Ahmed really has to offer. After a terribly brazen entrance, he continued to show disrespect to his opponent. But his dance lasted longer than the fight itself. 
Already in the first round, his opponent delivered a devastating blow which made the cocky dancer humbler and sent him to the show Dancing with the Stars. On June 12, 1990, a fight was held to challenge for the light heavyweight title between undefeated Anthony Hembrick and Booker T. Word. Before the fight, Hambrick put on a team show performance. The audience might have thought they came for the ballet instead of boxing. He has come along quickly. Last time we saw him, he looked extremely loose, very confident. And he puts on a show. His ankle. They are. Using his height and excellent footwork, Hembrick evaded Booker's attacks with ease. Championship fight, the last one we had. Vincent Bowles. Dancer's long arms reached into the skull of his short opponent. He was even able to stagger Booker with one of his attacks. Title. Now, today, Jeff By the way, Hembrick was fighting, it seemed like really talk the talk, and was competent enough to walk the walk. But out of blue, Booker suddenly exploded, and in the style of Mike Tyson himself, he sent the defiant Hambrick to go and lay on the canvas. Hambrick, he has uh, that Magic Johnson, Isaiah. Oh, and he has the smile right off his face. Hambrick rose to his feet with difficulty, but was immediately overtaken by a tactical bombardment from Booker and losing stabilization. He went for an emergency landing. Booker T. He could smell it now. He then drops Hambrick for the last time with another powerful punch. Only the three knockdown rules saved the cocky dancer from permanent brain damage. Booker celebrated his victory brightly, becoming a clear embodiment of the phrase, don't judge a Booker by its cover. The champion broke the hopes of the show Boater Forever, taking a zero from his defeat column. In 2013, Adrian Broner defended his title against Marcos Maidana. Prior to the fight, Broner started mocking Maidana, proving that he was not only the WBA champion, but also the champion of showing off. Already in the first round, Broner did the dirty move. He literally confessed his love to Marcos Maidana. Apparently, Broner had a boner. Maidana did not appreciate such a display of affection and sent Broner to dry on the ropes like laundry. Marcos was easily breaking Broner's defense, looking to revenge on the cocky fighter for all his arrogance. Each punch from Maidana was educational in nature. But in addition, Maidana taught a lesson in sex education as well. To reinforce the lesson, Marcos knocked him down again. As a result, Maidana won and made the cocky showboater show off much more humble. Two heavyweights faced each other at the boxing tournament, Geronimo Mondragon and Vaxislav Datik. During the face-off, Mondragon, in an attempt to scare off, began to push and scream at Datik. Despite all the effort to look fearsome, Mondragon looked more like a crying man from the famous meme. <laughs> before the Way In's ludicrous giant might have been to the children party, where they gave him an aqua makeup. The defiant screamer didn't miss a chance there either and tried to attack Datsik. The fight took place in the cage as it is the place to keep the psyches away from healthy people. In the very beginning of the fight, Datsik sent Mondragon to kiss the canvas. Datsik meant business and with a sledgehammer-like punch made cocky yeller humble, sending him into the dark realm. In a heavyweight title fight, collided contender Manuel Schar and the champion Alexander Povetkin, Povetkin in the champion style, with his heavy punches began decimating his opponent from Syria. In an attempt to neglect the punches from Povetkin, Char using grimaces decided to show he wasn't hurt. Then, Char seeing no fair way to win, resorted to the vile punches after the bell in an attempt to get the champ mad. However, Povetkin didn't fall for tricks of Char and proceeded to destroy the scumbag, forcing him to scream in despair. 
With a series of bone-crushing and unanswered blows, Povetkin sent the showboating fighter out of the ring, thus demonstrating there was no place for scumbags in the ring. The fight for the vacant WBC heavyweight belt was contested between undefeated Riddick Bowe and hard-hitting Elijah Tillery. While explaining the rules of combat, Tillery sent a mocking air kiss in Bowe's direction, which offended the man from the ghetto. Dang. In the first round, Bowe sent the kissing master to lie in a pose of a Detroit bum with a powerful punch. The double figures tonight. After such ending, Tillery, out of anger and his powerlessness, did the rat act, kicking his opponent several times. And now some extra work. Oh, a little kickboxing! This pissed off Bao with his assertiveness and furious punches, he kicked the rat out of the ring. Oh, and a tag team comes in, and Elijah Till Rodent was disqualified for the illegal lead that led to the scuffle and earned the belt for Bo. Tillery asked for an immediate rematch to take the title and prove he's no ordinary Joe. I'm not, you know, I'm not buying it that uh you know, he's gonna knock me out, I'm not buying it. During the rematch, Tyler was able to hold Bao with his jab, and after the first round, cocky fighter began celebrating his victory beforehand. I was he won that. But the champion hadn't forgotten Tillery's dirty deeds in their first fight. Bao, with his arrows, was piercing through the armor of ordinary Joe. Straight left hook. Oh, strong right hand. Bao threw a hail of powerful punches, forcing Tylery to turn his back. This primal instinct shows complete submission to the superior. Here's where Bo's got to really pick his shots, but if he keeps this up, they'll stop it. The victim then refused to continue the fight with the alpha male. After that fight, a mentally broken Elijah Tillery never tasted victory again and ended his career on this note. The main thing that referee says to the boxers is protect yourselves at all times. And he quit, protect yourself at all times, I expect a tough, clean fight. On the March 2004 occurred a boxing match between Nate Campbell and Robbie Peden. Peden was a master of head movement, and using his dodges, he wanted to make Campbell exhausted. He was trying to put on the eyes of Robbie Peden. Robbie Peden, though, I saw him in his last fight. He was getting more extension on his punches. You know, so many fighters move in so close that they're not... He has missed a few However, the effort of Peden brought no results as Campbell was able to poke through the dodges of his opponent. And hands down like he does, like Robbie does. There's why. He has a chance to talk to the fighters uh, if it's a good shot to the body. And another good idea. And has a right to In the judges' scorecards, Campbell was unequivocally winning this fight. He has slowed oh, that body shot. shot to the body. What a body shot. Peden is in if Campbell goes back down to the body, this fight. An accurate shot from the underdog hurt the ego of Cocky Campbell, and he decided to humiliate his opponent by demonstrating he didn't give no crap. Straight to right up with that shot. He ostentatiously put his guard down, showing that his opponent posed no threat. Peden unholstered his gun and blew the arrogant fighter's head off, making Campbell humble. If you enjoyed watching, please like and subscribe to our new channel. Thank you.